Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Patton and this is Sizzle in the Middle.com Adventurize Your Midlife. I'm here again with Elaine Gold, adventure extraordinaire. Hi Elaine. Hi, are you guys getting tired of this? I'm trying to I try to think about what to call you. <laughs> You're adventurer extraordinaire, and if you no. watched our last video, uh, Elaine was explaining about her adventure with well, cycling and fitness and breast cancer. So and her blog is called the art of the climb.com which is uh, very apropos because you are all about the art of the climb absolutely whatever kind of climb it is yeah it doesn't have to be breast cancer it can be anything whether you're going through financial struggles which millions are right now um, you know physical mental emotional there's so many there's so many avenues of people going through going uphill climbs yeah and having that challenge and let's just recap for everyone, in case you didn't see the other uh, video, just briefly what you're in the midst of. Well, I just did my first chemotherapy session uh, two days ago. And so, and that one was not bad, actually. <laughs> and she biked over to the, the, the uh, appointment and back, and that was 40 miles. 45. I can't, I just, I, I'll never forget that phone call, Elaine, that phone message you left that night, Thursday night after her chemotherapy and after her extreme workout. Oh yeah, I had to do my Kempo and my ab workout. What's really so interesting, and I'm a big fitness fanatic, and if you've gone to sizzleinthemiddle.com, you'll see I've written a lot about fitness, especially lately, which mm -hmm. is amazing. It's all coincided with That's meeting great. you. And how important do you think fitness is to your healing process? It is huge because if you are in a good physical state, and, and honestly, I was down for four and a half months, not being allowed to sweat, not being allowed to shower, being on hardcore core antibiotics, and we have a We better not mountain. talk. Well, we have, we're gonna just talk, you know what? Well, you know what? what? We, have, we are up in the mountains, as you can see, and there's a fire behind you guys. Well, in front of us. In front of us, behind you. Um, and there's a helicopter circling with water drops. Ready to go down into Oso Lake hey, and so suck it up. That's what happens when you're out you in the elements. Yeah. <laughs> so, it kind of makes it, it looks more exciting. like a giant mosquito. So you were saying, Elaine, about how important fitness is to your healing process. Absolutely. Because most people, you, when you think about going through chemotherapy, we have this image of, you know, you go through it and then you just go to bed and you're just, you know, you you're weak and you're you're and not to say that other people won't feel that but maybe this is another option to just not you've allow got, that you've got to move I want the drugs to work through my system my blood to pump and get it going and get it working and move it through and move it on yeah and that's what's absolutely. really interesting that you said that that she wants to get the toxins out as fast as possible yeah and what better way than to do to work out absolutely and I think actually the, the greater benefit is that you have the endorphins you have um, you know the positive strength and health that is going to really help you in the healing process and it's so important even if you're not in shape when you are hit with something like cancer try to change your mindset so okay I'm yeah. going to walk if I can't run let me walk if I can only walk five steps I wasn't allowed to be in the Sun for four and a half months because I wasn't allowed to sweat so I would walk in the malls I would you know I would find places that would at night time but you have to keep moving you stop moving you stop moving yeah exactly and how do you feel right now it's been two days how do you feel physically how do you feel emotionally I feel great just a bit of constipation <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> and okay, <laughs> I'm sure she'll so take far. care of that, and we'll be reporting back on that too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is next for you? I have every three weeks. I will have chemotherapy. So you have three weeks right now. I have three weeks in between sessions, okay. and I have six sessions total. The day before my next session, I will go in for general um, anesthesia surgery for 45 minutes to have a portacath put in right about here near my collarbone and it will be the access port to put the dr remaining drugs in for the next five sessions. And I said, you know, I schedule it late enough in the day so I can do my workout in the morning and I, I better be able to ride the next morning. It might be a little sore, but I'm still gonna do my 45 <laughs> miles. 
<laughs> well, listen, we're going to be following you, and I'm going to be writing about this and doing these video shows with Elaine, and Elaine's going to be writing about her experiences on theartoftheclimb.com. So stay tuned, everyone. This is truly one of the most amazing stories that, Aww, that I've heard so of. Awesome. And thank you, Elaine, for sharing it, and thank you for all – just – Thank you for, for changing our attitudes and our, our way of looking at, you know, and hardship and, and those curveballs in life. Yeah, it's only as hard as you make it. Well put. Okay, so I am Tracy Patton with Elaine, Elaine Gold. Gold. <laughs> and please go out there and take some adventures and step out in life. Absolutely. Because uh, Elaine will and, be. And get on a bike if you've never get been on one. Get on a bike, and we will see you next time. Awesome. Bye. Bye.